Good day everyone, I'm Dave. Today we're going to be looking at an electric chainsaw. And for most of you probably have already dealt with gas chainsaws and really there's an awful lot of similarities between electric and gas. Of course they both all run bar oil, they pretty well all have a bar, some kind of chain tensioner. Really the big difference is of course the motor. So let's have a look. Uh, this particular chainsaw, we actually, if you notice, we've got lots of fiber. We're going to have a lot more when we open it up. Um, this particular chainsaw was used in one of our other videos, chainsaw versus chaps. So let's open it up, we'll have a quick look inside. First thing of course is we're just going to get into the blade area. And some chainsaws of course have the tool list, which is what this one is. Um, others of course have the, the twin bolts. Um, it's personal preference, some obviously love uh, the tool list. I, my, I have, the, I have my, my, my own personal preference onto those, but you can see inside how jammed up that is. Um, that was all the fibers that came from the pants. And it's, it's already loosening up a little bit just by moving, there we go. There's our chain off. And of course, there's our main gear going in. We're just gonna unravel some of this because it's the only way to get that out at some point. So we're just gonna open this up. And of course, lots of screws just because there's a lot of vibration on these things. So there's screws everywhere. That's where our chain lubrication oil comes out. It comes out right there, gets onto the chain. And as the chain spins around, it spreads it itself through a whole chain. To be honest, I've never actually opened up an electric chainsaw before. So this is gonna be fun for me too. Let's take the cover off the back side of the motor as well. And there's our motor itself. Pretty standard electric motor. You can see right here on either side. There's our brushes. The commutator's right there where your, your power is going across from your brushes. It commutes power, as I always tell people, it's an easy way to remember it, from your brushes, from the power into your windings. Stators on the outside, it's static, it doesn't move. Armature, part in the side, turns. So this is all looking good. And of course we can watch on the other side. Here's our gearing turning. So we know the motor's not jammed up. You know, yes, there's a bit more mess to pull out, but it's not jammed. There we go, right off. Every chainsaw does things slightly different. Um, it's electric, electric switch, pretty simple. Um, we come in here, there's our bottle for our fluid. The hose coming down and into the side. This one here looks like quite often what you have is uh, a pressure that presses against the, the hose that actually pumps it. In this case, it's looking like it's just gravity fed. Uh, you have your, of course, your main shaft here for your electric motor going right through. Pretty easy to turn. And there's your switch coming up right there. And that's tied into your braking mechanism. So that way when you let go of the switch, electric ones typically do come to a braking mechanism and stop it. So that's what these ones do. It just provides that, that extra little bit of safety, especially because right there, I can't really turn it any further until I pull up on the trigger and that'll release it and lock it in that position. So every one of these chains is a little different. Uh, as you can tell, not much into it. Um, you can take that out of the way if you want to see. Basically, a giant electric motor with a gear for your chain and a lubrication system. It doesn't get much simpler than that. As I fire this up, you'll see it spin around. And if you notice, it is awfully quick. Right here, that little arm, as I pull the trigger, she comes up, lets the chainsaw spin, and the moment I let go of that trigger, comes back down, hits right here, the steel ring, and brings the chainsaw to a stop. That's something more unique to the electric chainsaws. Um, Electric chainsaws typically stop almost instantly by using some kind of arm like that. For gas chainsaws, they typically have like a steel band that goes around the clutch and grabs hold of the clutch. Sort of very similar to how uh, brake shoes work 
on a car, instead of going outwards, these ones come in and grab hold of it. In this case, if you watch that arm, she's gonna go up. You can just see right there on the tip of my screwdriver. I'm gonna turn it a little bit right there. You'll see the arm disappear when I pull the trigger. And as soon as I let go, it'll come back, hit here, and if you notice this top portion, will stop spinning. And there we go. So of course the motor still spins, it's just releasing in essence a clutch mechanism that they have built into this. And the clutch mechanism on this one doesn't get much simpler. It's basically just a spring wrapped around and by removing that pin, and let me just unplug it, by removing that pin I let the spring grab hold and compress and grab hold of the shaft which allows the movement and when it locks the spring unwinds itself letting go of the shaft and therefore it stops. Very simple, very good idea actually. And we'll just put it back together. Same idea as before, just reverse the process. There you go. Hopefully you learned a little something. If you have any other comments, questions, thoughts, please leave them in the comment section and stay tuned for another video. Thanks again.